everybody, we're gonna talk about one feature of marketing, content marketing specifically, that gets overlooked. And I think this is actually one of the most important factors when you're creating content for your brand or your business. So let's get into today's video. By the end of this, you're going to understand with this single piece, you're going to be able to create better content and engage more of your potential clients and potential customers. Hey there, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and comment if you have any questions at all. So let's talk about this. What is the thing that most brands are lacking? I think it's actually pretty simple, but I'm gonna talk about why it's so important. And I think that the thing that most people are missing is consistency. And I want you to think about your best friends in your inner circle. What is one thing that they all have in common? And if you think back, you know, to the best friends that you have, they are probably the ones that are most consistently around and in your life. They might not be the best people. It's really interesting when I think about certain friends in my life, they're not the best people, but they're always there for you. And that's something that I think we can't overlook. This needs to be really, really considered. So like if you were to go and move, everybody hates moving. It's heavy lifting. It's no fun. It just sucks, right? But who's that friend who if you said, hey, will you help me move? They would say, yes. I have a few of those people in my life, right? And those are the people who are consistently there. They consistently show up. And these people aren't the smartest people. They aren't the most wealthy. They are not like the best morally people, right? They're not, I'm not saying that they're bad, but they're not like Mother Teresa or anything but they are consistently there for you. And so if you are a brand and you're trying to engage with your clients and customers, I think that this is just as important. You have to show up regularly. If you're not showing up regularly on the platforms that your customers are spending time, this gives an opportunity to your competition to show up. So think about the, the favorite shows that you have on YouTube, for example, or think about the favorite shows that you have on TV the consistency of them showing up every single week or every single day or every single month or whatever the consistency that they show up that you can rely on them for, it helps to create not only a relationship with them, but it helps to create a closeness. I think about the, the shows that like my family watches as a family on YouTube, right? We watch specific YouTubers every single Sunday they release a new video or every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday they release a new video. I'm doing that with my channel. I want to release a video every single day because I want to show up, be consistent. I think consistency is overlooked all the time. So what are some things that you can do to be more consistent? I think number one, you have to schedule it in and you have to make it a priority. If you have a business, you need to be creating original content. You need to create a content plan. I actually created a long video on how to do this in depth. You can click that button up there and go watch it. But if you don't have a plan, it's not gonna happen on its own. So number one, you need to have a plan. Number two, it needs to be scheduled. If you're not scheduling it and pre-planning it and making it a priority, it simply isn't gonna happen. It's like anything else. If you wanna get in shape and you don't plan time to go work out, you're not gonna magically start working out when you fall asleep at nighttime. It's just not gonna happen. Same thing with eating healthy or investing in a relationship or anything that's worthwhile. If you want to make it a priority, you have to schedule it and you have to do it. And then I think number three is if you have, a lot of times business owners especially, they have perfectionism in mind whenever they create content. It doesn't have to be perfect. Showing up regularly is more important than showing up perfectly. I'll give you an example. I want you to think about if you're a parent or everybody has parents. If you had a parent who showed up every single day and even though they weren't perfect, I can, I can say probably most of us have unperfect parents, we can think about faults that they have, but if they showed up regularly and they were there for you, right? Being present was more important than being perfect, right? If you had a parent who showed up only once a year and you went to Disneyland for that one day and it was perfect and you got everything you wanted, you would feel like, geez, these, this parent just shows up once a year and they don't even love me, right? That would be like a major letdown. So quantity is I think more important than quality to some extent you want to make sure that the quality of the content that you're putting out is going to reflect your brand but perfect is not attainable 
We don't have professional production companies. I don't have a professional production company. I'm just using the tools that I have. And that's better than nothing. 100% I know that my videos could be better. I know that my editing could be better. My production quality could be better. I could have, you know, fancy things. I could have multiple camera angles and editing transitions and all of these things, right? But getting something done and getting something out there is more important to me than having that perfection and that polished quality end product. Here's the thing that I love that Gary Vaynerchuk says all the time too. He says that quality is subjective. And that's totally true. You have people that love and hate the exact same thing because to them it's high quality, to other people it's poor quality, right? People's de definition of quality is going to change based on their experience, what they like, what they don't like. Some people love Star Wars, some people hate Star Wars. Some people love Game of Thrones, some people hate Game of Thrones, especially season eight. People are hating on it and loving on it. So it really is subjective. Find the people who are going to love the content that you put out, that are going to engage with your brand, engage with your business, and show up and be consistent. They're going to appreciate your consistency and want to do business with you because of that consistency. So be more consistent. To do that, you need to get a plan. You need to plan it out. You need to schedule it out. And then you need to do the work and ship the work. So get it done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.